I am here to talk about faith. Hallelujah. And this morning, I just need people that have got crazy faith. As we call it in the Holy Ghost Embassy, we are calling it the now faith. The now, do I have people that have the now faith? Do I have people that have the now faith? The Bible says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of the unseen. So I want you to begin seeing the miracle in this house tonight. Th this morning, I want you to see your miracle. As the prophet of God steps on the podium, I want you to look inside the prophet and take out your healing. I want you to look inside the prophet and get out your prophecy. I want you to look, to look at the prophecy, the prophet and get your deliverance. Come on, it is what you see and you will get it. Is somebody ready? Listen. The book of Genesis chapter number 18, verse number 1, the Bible says, And Abraham saw three men approaching. They were coming in the heat of the day. And the Bible says, Abraham approached them. And Abraham saw God in the midst of the three men. Praise the Lord. The eyes of faith that Abraham had were able to perceive God in the midst of the three men. I want your eyes this morning to perceive God in this house. I want your eyes of faith this morning to perceive God inside the prophet. Listen, when you perceive God inside the man of God, you will get what you answer. You will get what you've been longing for. The Bible says, and Abraham looked at him for a long time. Abraham never had a child. And he had, he had been promised a long time. And God comes to answer Abraham. But without Abraham having the eyes of faith, he would have missed his answer. Praise the Lord. So you are in this house. The Lord has promised you. And today he's coming with the answer. Today God has come with your answer. But your eyes are able to provoke God to speak the answer. We don't need people that are quiet. If you will be quiet today, your miracle will pass you by right in your eyes. Do I have crazy people in the house? Do I have crazy people in the house? The Bible says, and blind Barameas heard that there was a man called Jesus. He has never seen Jesus. He believes in his heart that if this man touches me, I will be made whole. The Bible says he hears Jesus passing in the streets and he stands up within himself. His faith tells him that I am getting my healing today. What does he do? He begins to scream. He begins to scream. Come on, some of you are right in the place where miracles are, but you are too dumb to speak and your miracle bypasses you. To this morning, we don't need people that are dumb. Come on, tell your neighbor, don't be dumb. Tell your neighbor, speak. Speak. Tell your neighbor, speak. Speak. Tell your neighbor, speak. Speak. Listen, child of God, God has loaded the prophet this morning. The prophet is braggadociously loaded. Amen. Power. He's supersonically loaded. He's bombardically loaded with a miracle. Amen. He's bombardically loaded with a miracle. Amen. So what you need to do, as a prophet of God steps on the podium, Amen. you better look at the prophet. Amen. And your eyes must go beyond the natural. Amen. You, you better look inside the prophet. Amen. You begin to search what is it that the prophet is carrying for me today. Amen. Because after you perceive what the prophet is carrying for you, Amen. it is definitely what you will get. Amen. The Bible says, blind Bartimaeus was perceiving his eyes in Jesus. He perceived his eyes in Jesus. And when he appeared before Jesus, he says, Master, I want to see. And he got his sight. I don't know what has brought you in this service this morning. Yes. I said, I don't know what has brought you in this service this morning. Yes. But I believe when your eyes of faith are open, you will get your answer. Amen. When your eyes of faith are open, you will get your answer. Amen. When your eyes of faith are open, you will get your answer. Amen. Let me tell you, your eyes of faith can never be limited by the walls. Amen. Your eyes of faith can never be limited by the natural. Amen. It perceives beyond the natural. Tell your neighbor, I am getting my answer. I am getting my answer. Tell your neighbor, I'm getting my answer. I am getting my answer. Listen. Faith, your eyes of faith. 
must be accompanied with an action that will provoke the anointing to speak. Because what you're looking for is for God to speak. Yes. And when God speaks, when God speaks, your answer comes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now look at this. Abraham perceives God in the midst of the three men. Praise the Lord. And he walks over. His faith tells him to say, I better provoke the, the, the God in the midst of these men. Some of you as a prophet will be preaching here. Yes. Provoke the anointing. Amen. I don't know how you're going to provoke the anointing, but you better provoke the anointing. Amen. Because if you provoke the anointing, it will speak. Amen. The Bible says, Abraham ran and said, if I found favor in your sight, come a little while. He offered them food. He connected as a means of provoking the Lord to speak. Amen. So I don't know what your faith is telling you to do. Yes. I don't know what your faith is telling you to do. Yes. But this morning, as the man of God, as our father will be stepping on the podium, Amen. I believe you will provoke his anointing. Amen. Do I have people that are ready to provoke the anointing? Hey. Do I have people that are ready to provoke the anointing? Hey. Listen, this anointing is more contagious than chicken pox. Hey, All you better do is to provoke it. You better provoke it with your noise. Hey, you better provoke it with your noise. Hey, I'm speaking noise, you are quiet. Come on, provoke it, provoke it. Hey. You better provoke it with the noise. Hey, the anointing of my father. Yes. Can, can I speak a, a little bit here? Yes. The anointing of my father does not operate like it's a mortuary. Amen. It needs noise. The prophetic is activated by the noise. Amen. Listen, child of God, don't become as if you are dead. You better Amen. shout and scream. You better provoke the anointing in the house. You better provoke the anointing in the house. Come on. Do I... Listen, I need somebody who is crazy. Amen. I need somebody who is crazy. Amen. Because when Ezekiel was taught to prophesy, there was noise in the valley of the dry bones. Amen. So you better create that noise this morning. Amen. You better create that noise this morning. Amen. You better create the noise, the noise, the noise, the noise. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, my God, my God, my God. My God. Listen. Listen. You will not only provoke the anointing Amen. with your noise. Amen. You will carry substance to provoke it more. Amen. You will carry substance to provoke it more. Amen. Listen, as a man of God will be preaching, yes. as our father will be prophesying, Amen. you will connect with your seed. Amen. You will provoke the anointing that you'll be forced Amen. to speak. Come on, do I have people that are ready this morning? Do I have crazy Many people? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Jump up on your feet, jump up on your feet. Jump up on your feet, on your feet. On. Celebrate the anointing. Celebrate the anointing. Celebrate, 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 celebrate the anointing. Come on, come on, somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give God the praise, the praise, the praise. The praise. The praise. The praise. The praise. And it's got my name, man. It's got my name, man. Put up two hands for Jesus. Lift your hands, come on, let's and worship God. And it's your name in there. Oh, 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 the heavens are open for and the blessings for hands, come on. Lift your hands, come on, let's oh, watch it. The heavens are open for and the blessings falling down here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The heavens are open, the heavens are open, and the blessings falling down. Just claim what is yours. Oh, <laughs> 
God is mine. I take it. God is mine. I receive it. I claim what is mine. Take what. Are you ready to take what is yours? Lift your hands, whatever you are. Come on. Lift your hand and give him praise, whatever you are. Come on. It's got my name. It has your name. Do you know that there's a miracle in the atmosphere? There are miracles in the atmosphere. It got my name. I need you to declare it's got my name. There are miracles in the atmosphere. Come on. There's a miracle in the atmosphere. It's got my name. It's got my name. It's got my name. It's got my name. There are breakthroughs in the atmosphere. Come on. Breakthroughs in the atmosphere. your hands whatever you are give him praise whatever you are come on give him praise give him a shot of praise give him a shot of praise give him a shot of praise lift your hands let's worship him let's worship him let's worship him let's worship him come on
receiver. I came one as my blood. I believe, yeah. So I take it. I receive it. Lift your hands, come on. Just wave your hand. Give it praise. Speak in tongues, come on. Speak in tongues, speak in tongues, come on. There are miracles in the utmost thing. It's God by name. Come on, pray, 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 pray. There are miracles, yeah. There's a miracle in the utmost thing. Lift your hands, come on, pray. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Hallelujah. Take your seats in the highly places. And uh, give high five to your neighbor. Give high five to your neighbor. Tell them, neighbor, you are welcome. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. Now, let me tell you something. Do you know that as I'm standing here, as I'm standing here, do you know that God has given me the ability to know whatever you need? Huh? That's a reason you must understand that Christianity, it is personal. It's, 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 it's personal. We, 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 we don't worship God because another man is worshiping God. Amen. That is the biggest problem that I see with a lot of you here. The first thing when I step on the altar, I'm able to access the spirits of people access the spirits of people the same way the doctor has the thermometer that's the same way also god has given prophets the atometer amen power to measure to measure the readings where the people are ready to receive and that's the reason you find that in the bible the bible says jesus did few miracles where there was unbelief where there was unbelief. So the miracle is not a problem. It becomes a problem when unbelief is involved. You know, you can be in, an, in a place that is charged up by the presence of God, by an extraordinary anointing, and yet you to live with your problem. And this is a problem with most of you. You come in church, you come in a place where there's so much anointing, you live with your problem. Because you have a crooked mind. You have a crooked mind. And the Lord spoke to me this morning to tell you that you must stay away from the crooked mind. There are most of you, you are using God. You are not even born again. 
You're not even born again. You just want God. You just want what he can give you. Not who he is. Do you know there are people, there are people. <laughs> okay, thank God of the prophetic. Thank God of the prophetic. And that's the reason you see me nowadays. When I want to prophesy to somebody, I'll first ask questions, investigation. I will investigate. To investigate you. I'm a police officer. I'm a police officer. If I must give you prophecy, I must investigate you. Who are you? Are you born again or born againest? Do you pray? Do you fast? If I give you this prophecy, will this prophecy bring life or kill you? Because most of you, if I can release the prophecy, it can kill you. So the best thing, let's be quiet and maintain the relationship. You must understand that the place where you are, God is standing there. Standing there. And uh, if you don't stand where God is, you will, ne you will never take what God has prepared for you. And that's the reason I tell you that uh, God is not a man. When you look at me, when you look at me with your eyes, with your eyes, you will see a lot of mistakes. Too many. Too many mistakes. Too many mistakes. You check my hair. Maybe I've not combed very well. You say maybe my eyes are too big. Maybe my leg is too big. Huh? Huh? Maybe I'm too dark for you. Maybe you expected a light person. Eh? A light person. So if they told you that Prophet Didi Isaac, you know, it's just the name Prophet Didi Isaac. You thought he's a fat man. But when you came here, my Jesus, disappointment all over. Am I talking to somebody here? Amen. So physically, physically, you'll be so much disappointed. You'll be so much disappointed because I don't look qualified. I don't look qualified. I don't look like I know something. But when you sit under me and listen to the revelation, to the insight that Amen. God. Amen. Oh. That's the reason most prophets in the Bible, they were very simple people. Very simple. Simple. Simple and straightforward. And it was very hard for you to recognize a prophet. Very hard. Very hard. Because prophets are not just physical beings. These are spiritual beings. You can never see them with your physical eyes. Right now, people, as they're looking at me, they are thinking that this is prophet Didi Isaac. No. You are so much mistaken. This is not prophet Didi Isaac. This is the career of prophet Didi Isaac. Amen. This is the career of Prophet Didi Isaac. Amen. <sighs> prophet Didi Isaac is a spirit. That's a reason. That's a reason. If you want me to prophesy to you, you must first connect yourself. Not to my body, to my spirit. Amen. There must be a connection. There must be a connection. There must be a connection. We can never receive electricity if there is no connection between the transformer and the receiver. There must be a connection. God wants you to see beyond. Amen. Prophets in the Bible, they were so dangerous. It's nowadays that, you know, you can be able to greet a prophet. Thank God. Because, you know, prophets of nowadays, now they are more into technology. Because... The old prophets, the difference between the old prophets and the new prophets is because the old prophets, they were, when they were writing, they were writing revelation about the technology that will come after them. So the guys were so much inspired. All oh, this will happen. They did not enjoy them. Thank God that us new prophets, new breeds of prophets, we are enjoying them. Which means we are better. We are better than Elijah. Better than Elijah. So this new generation of prophets, they are so much privileged. That's the reason you need to connect yourself. The Bible says, he that receiveth the prophet in the name of the prophet. Not in the face of the prophet, in the name. Amen. Uh, which means every prophet has an identity. Amen. Do you know what brought you here? Let me show you something. Do you know what brought you here? Shh. Do you know what brought you here? Because at one time, 
you heard somebody talking about what God is using through the identity of one person. You, you even came and said, I just want to come and see for myself. Eh? Because of this one identity, you came here. So connect yourself. God is not a respecter of personality. He does not respect because you are looking good. Because you are looking ugly. He does not respect that. And God does not use you because you are very beautiful. In fact, most of the people that I've seen God using is those that have got problems and defects and weaknesses. God is not looking for the people that are strong. He's looking for the people that are weak yes. so that he can strengthen them. Amen. So, thank God. If you are strong, thank God. If I'm weak, thank God. Amen. But let's see. Let's see who is strong here. Amen. That's the reason there was a category of, of two people who went to, 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 to the temple. And the Bible says, this other one was saying, Father, I am a sinner. Forgive my sins. And this other one said, no, Father, me, I know I am holy. Me, I'm holy. Me, I don't do mistakes. I don't do mistakes. Let me tell you. Do you know that God can use a sinner? Because his grace is sufficient. It's not for the perfect. It's not for the wise. It's not for the qualified. It's not for the beautiful. It's for those that have a weakness. Amen. That's the reason God says, let the weak say, I am strong. He's Amen. not looking for you to be strong. He's looking, in fact, he wants you to be weak. That's the reason I'm one of the weakest prophets, but strong by the Spirit of God. Amen. Power. That's the reason every time when I stand here, when I stand here, when you meet me physically, I'm a very sweet person. Very sweet person. Very sweet person. Very sweet person. I love this and that. But the moment the Spirit of God takes over me, you will think, is this the man that I was laughing with? Because that time he has taken over. That's a reason you must be very careful. When a prophet, when the woman of God, when the minister stands before you, you must be ready to receive. Receiving, it is not a force. Amen. To receive is easy. But to keep is a problem. There are most of you who are going to receive, but to keep, it will be a problem. So God does not want you just to receive. He wants you also to keep what you have received. Lift up your hands. Shh, lift up your hands. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Starting from today. Starting from today. Teach me thy word. Teach me thy word. In the name of Jesus. 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 Amen. Amen. Four things for you to receive. Four things for you to receive. How many things? Number one. Your faith must be involved. Your faith. God is not a magician. God is not a magician. God is not a sangoma. Amen. God is not a sangoma. Amen. God works with principles. You can have a seat. God works with principles. God works with principles. God works with principles. And there's a principle of faith, number one. For your miracle to happen, you need to have faith, number one, in God, number two, in the one he has sent for your miracle. In another way, God does not release miracles direct to people. There is a procedure. You must be involved. God must be involved. The man of God must be involved. And when the three agree, the matter is settled. Amen. Number two. Number two. Shh. 
Your concentration. Your concentration. It's not just about looking at me, but your concentration, your mind, your focus. Your focus. What is focus? Focus is the compass that will keep you towards the right direction. If you must not have problem, if you must not miss the road, then you need focus. Focus on the one that God he has sent for you. The Bible says you're looking unto the hill. Looking unto the hill. The word the focus, it is to, 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 to fix your eyes on something. Without anything distracting you. Not even the phone. Not even your husband. Because most of you, the enemy steals your miracles. Because the enemy, you, you'll be just in church and the enemy will just tell you, go and answer the phone outside. That's the reason the church of Jesus Christ must be the church of order. The Bible says the steps of the righteous man, they are ordered by God. The church must be a church of order. If you must receive from the Lord, you must focus. Nothing must disturb you. Nothing must rob of your attention of the Lord. I see people, I see people every time when I'm ministering, they move around, they move around, they move around. Not that, not that, not that. You, that's the reason you end up missing miracles. You end up missing prophetic words. You end up missing prophetic words because you are not focused. Yes. If you come in church, if you come in church, you must prepare everything. Prepare your book, prepare your pen, prepare your iPad and tell your friends next to you that please don't disturb me. Because it's part of maturity. When God is speaking to you, that's the reason. When I want to prophesy to you, it is a, it's a highest level of focus. Highest level of concentration. Because I want, I want to hear exactly what God is saying about you. Amen. He needs my time. He needs my eyes. He needs me to sit on one position and hear. Amen. If you want God to speak to you, you are, not even, you are not even prepared. You want God to speak to you, you are busy moving around eating like an e e e eating machine. You eat everything. You have never died from the time you from the time from the time you were born. You have been eating, and you, you have been eating. You are not even getting fat. You know there are people that you must discipline yourself. Whenever you come to church, you must discipline yourself. Discipline your children. The church is not a place of eating. The church is a place of teaching children character Amen. that when they grow up, they will never depart away from it. Amen. Amen. But you teach your children how to eat. You teach your children how to eat. You teach your children how to jump around in church. That's the reason they don't have the fear of the Lord. Yes. The children of the early, they died because they were playing with the, with the, with the altar of the Lord. Eli was a priest. Yes. Eli was a priest, but he reached a level of tolerating his children. That's the reason God had to kill the children to give a sign that God is not a respecter of personality. Ananias and Sapphira died in the church. In the church. You must understand that when you come in the church, it is two things that happen to you. It's either you are blessed or cursed. Yes. It's either you provoke a blessing by your action or a curse by your action. Amen. Amen. That's the reason you must be very careful. You must be very attentive. When the word of God is coming, it comes with a lot of revelation, with a lot of packages. God wants to speak to you. God wants to bless you. God wants to push you to another level. He can never speak to a man who's so busy. You are too busy. You are too busy. I was here yesterday. I was in, in, in the office. I was in the office. And most of the time, when God wants to speak to me, I need to be alone. I need to be alone. 
Because I don't hear God when I'm with people. <laughs> You're not hearing this. When, look, look. When I want to prophesy to you, yes. he has already spoken to me about you. Amen. So when I am close to you, it's only an instruction. He gives me an instruction. This is what you must do. This is what you must do. It takes focus, concentration. Your mind must be there. Your hands must be involved. Are you listening to me here? Amen. And you need to participate. You, look, look, you don't create. Look, a pastor, a prophet does not create a service for you. You create a service for yourself. Amen. Amen. That's the reason it's called the church service. Some of you are like finished cars. What happens if the car is having a problem? Where do you take it? Hey, where do you take it? You take it for what? For service. There is a mechanic specialized to remove the old oil. Some of you have been working for the whole entire year. No one has removed the oil. That's the reason you are, you are walking, you are making noise. You're making noise. Your marriage is making noise. Your finances is making noise because there is no one to remove the oil. And how do we remove the oil? We need now, we need the right spare part. Yes. We need the right equipment to use on you. Yes. Which is the word of God. Amen. Listen, my dear. Listen, my child. Listen, my son. Listen, my daughter. God wants to bless you. And if you can never connect yourself to the spirit of God, I promise you, I am a prophet, I can see. I see. And you don't dare my side. You don't dare my side. Even when I sleep, even when I kiss my wife, I still see. Oh, you don't know. Power. You think the anointing leaves me. In fact, it adds up. Yeah. It adds up more. You must focus on the one. That's the reason. When the children of Israel had the sin against God, God told Moses, said, put a, 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 a snake of what? Bronze. Of bronze. And anyone who's going to look on it, he shall be saved. So that kind of a healing, it is called look, uh, 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 look, uh, 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 look and be healed. Healing. When you look at something, your faith is activated. Your faith grows and automatically you receive your healing. Amen. So faith comes by sight. Faith comes by hearing. Faith comes by touch. Faith comes also by exposure. Faith also comes by connection. When you are connected to people of faith, they end up impacting you with the spirit of faith. That's the reason most of the time around me, I carry people who carry faith. I don't love people who believe in small things. Who believe in two rent. Businesses. You are, you are believing a business for 100 rent. Not for me. Not for me. I am believing mat billion business. When I do business, my children, even if when I die, my children must begin to enjoy. It takes focus. Number three. Number three. Number three. How must I receive my miracle? How must I receive my miracle? How must I receive my prophecy? How must God touch me? How? How can he touch me? How can he touch me? How can he change my life in a place where there is his presence? Number three. Number three. Number three. Write this point. You're giving. Whenever God wants to speak to you, he doesn't want you, he doesn't just want to give you. No. He wants you also to give him. God is on the side of giving you, but also you must be on the side of also giving him back. Most of you are on the side of receiving. That's a reason there is no exchange. There must be an exchange when the word of God is coming. God is giving you and you are giving back to God. Giving back to God is connection to God. You can never receive to what you are not connected to. You can't. Giving is in so many ways. Giving is in so many ways. You can give 
your substance. You can give your attention. You can give your commitment. You can give your eyes to the Lord. You can give your hands to the Lord. You can give your ears to the Lord. You can give your whole body to the Lord. You can give your children to the Lord. You can give your, your car to the Lord. You can give uh, your phone to the Lord. He said, now God, you are about to use me. I give you my phone. I don't want my phone to disturb me. I give you my husband. I don't want my husband to disturb me. I give you my children. I don't want my children to disturb me. It is giving. You are there with your boyfriend. Give him to the Lord. He will not give you a problem. <laughs> I repeat again. You are there with your boyfriend. Give him to the Lord. And he will not give you a problem. Whatever you don't give to the Lord. I promise you. That thing will give you a problem. That's the reason I dedicate everything. I give back to the Lord. Even when I get a, 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 anything, anything new, even my car, I give them back to the Lord. There must be a process of exchange, exchanging, giving your heart. I give my heart to you, Lord. And as you have given your heart to the Lord, he gives you now his heart. He now begins to tell you that this is what I'm about to do. I am about to do this and that. I am about to bless somebody here. I am about to catapult somebody to another dimension. He begins to reveal his plans. He begins to unfold his intention concerning his people. As I'm telling you right now, I have given my heart to the Lord. Amen. And that's the reason you see that I am not reading anywhere. I am not reading anywhere. I don't need to read. Because now my heart... He doesn't speak to me because of the iPad. He speaks to me because my heart is ready. I can hear him. When he tells me stop, I stop. When he tells me move, I move. Amen. When he tells me look at that woman, I look. He tells me speak to her, I speak to her. My heart is given to him. Amen. My mind is given to him. Amen. My thoughts are given to him. Amen. My body is given to him. Amen. Do you want God to bless you? Hey, do you want God to bless you? Yes. Give everything around you to the Lord. Amen. Give your body, give your body to the Lord. That's the reason most of you, most of you, your spirit is in church, but your body is at home. You know, there are people who are in church right now. They are in church. Their spirit is in church. But by... The body is in church. But the spirit is in Nando's right now. Is eating Nando's. Your mind must be in church. Your heart must be in church. Nothing must take away the time of God. Oh, God is looking for people. He's looking for people that can give him his heart. They, 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 can, they can offer their hearts to God. Not just busy people. Give your heart. He's not looking for, for, for anything. He's looking for your heart. Your heart. Huh? Mudimu abata bupilo, bupilo. Bupilo. Power. Bupilo. Huh? Huh? Bupilo. Abata bupilo. Waka. Waka. Yeah. Huh? Are you listening to me here? Amen. He's looking for your heart every day. He wants to use your heart. He wants to speak to your heart. That's the reason the Bible says in the book of Ezekiel, the Bible says, he shall remove the heart of stone and give you the heart of flesh that you may hear his spirit. He's ready to speak to you, but your heart is a stony heart. It's a stony heart. It's a heart filled with doubt. It's a heart filled with unbelief. Even when he's speaking, you can't hear him. Give him your heart. 
Number five. Number four. Number four. How must I receive? I want to prepare you because the Lord is about to speak to you. Action. Your action. That's the reason most of the time Jesus could not perform miracles because the Bible says when he entered his own city, the Bible says the way people they were behaving towards his anointing, it was very funny. And the Bible says he left. God can never force you to receive. Before he gives you something, he will check at your actions how you behave. How you behave. How you behave. Action where? In church. Switch off your phone. When the word of God is coming, you know that the man of God has mentioned something that you know. This is yours. What you do, there is a need of an action. You don't just sit down. You now act on the word. We, that's the reason we are actors in the movie of Jesus Christ. You are an actor. Whenever God is speaking, he has blessed your heart with a prophetic word. What you do, you jump on your feet and you take a sacrifice. You connect, you say, you say I connect myself to this prophetic word. This word, it shall not remain void, but it shall accomplish its intended purpose. I claim it. I take hold of every prophetic word that I've ever received. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I decree and declare whatever the woman of God has declared over my life, I take it by force. I take it by force. I take it by force. It is action. Action. I am very crazy whenever God is speaking to me. That's the reason. Whenever God is speaking to me, I'm so strange. Very strange. Because it's like there is a force on me and that force makes me to act of things that I don't know physically. Amen. You must act whenever the word of God is coming because the word of God is like a seed being sown in your spirit. Amen. And whenever the seed has been sown in your spirit, there is a need of watering it. That is action. Go now to the field. Take a bucket of water, water the seed so that it can germinate. Amen. Connect yourself. Number two, number two, whenever you are acting, remember, whenever you are acting, there's a need of sowing. Number, 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 number two, whenever you are acting, there's a need of what we call uh, uh, your voice. Your voice must be involved. You are too dumb. That's the reason God can't use you. Have you ever seen God using a dumb person? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are very mumushious. You are a mumu. Tell them about you are a mumu. Tell them about you are a mumu. Look at them. Tell them, tell them about you are a mumu. Look at your neighbor. Tell them neighbor. You are a mumu. Tell them about you are a mumu. You are a mumu. Mumu people, mumu people, <laughs> mumu oga. God does not use them. You, you are too mumu. Even when God speaks to you, you can't speak. You are mumushas. That's the reason God, whenever He wants to speak to you, this, the doings of God is only known through your mouth. Your mouth must declare what he has spoken to you. How do you know that I'm a prophet? I must come to you and speak to you. Not come to you and be like, mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. That's the way some of you, you are. You're like, mm, 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 Speak! Whenever the word of God is coming, the preaching is coming, the teaching is coming, speak, speak, speak in
in tongues. Speak in tongues. Prophesy to yourself. Amen. You listen to me here. You don't just keep quiet. Yes. Yeah, most of you are very quiet. That's the reason. If a woman, she's very quiet at the labor work, she will kill the baby. Some of you, you, you are here. The church is like a labor work. You are too quiet. You are entering with your pregnancy. Pregnancy. You are even you, you, are, you are even quiet. Be like. My sister, before you know it, your child will be dead. When you go for labor word, when you go for labor word, the midwife, she will tell you, please, my sister, here we don't close our legs. Here we open it wider. Tell neighbor, open your, open your legs. Wider. wider. So that the baby can come out. So that the baby can come out. You, 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 you are in the leopard. Oh, you know, you, I can't push. I can't push. You know, he's burning me. He, he, he's burning. He's burning. No, he's burning. He, he, John, if I had known that you would have done this to me, I would not have accepted. Mm, uh, uh. Open your legs. A miracle is about to come out. Yeah. Are, are you listening to what I'm trying to say here? Yeah. Open up your legs. Yeah. Open up your mouth. Yeah. Open up your bank account. Yeah. Open up your wallet. Yeah. Open up your heart. Yeah. Open up everything around you. Yeah. No, I, he's burning. Ah, push. He's burning you. Push it. Yes. Are you listening to me here? The, the midwife will tell you, ah, my sister, as you are pushing, I can see the head is coming out. Are you listening to what I'm trying to say here? The head is about to come out. Money is about to come out. Healing is about to come out. Deliverance is about to come out. Are you listening to me here? Sit down. She will tell you, push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. Your job is coming out. Yeah. Hey, push it. Yeah. Your husband is coming out. Yeah. Push it. Yeah. Money is coming out. Yeah. Push it. Yeah. I can see the hand coming out. Yeah. Push it. Yeah. I can see children coming out. Yeah. Are you ready to push? Yeah. Are you listening to me here? Yeah. God is not looking for smart people. Amen. He's looking for people that can open up their legs. Amen. Regardless who is around them. Amen. Are you listening to me here? Amen. We are not ashamed to minister the gospel of Jesus Amen. Christ. Because it is the power unto salvation. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm talking about? Turn about push, 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 push. Push, 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 push. Turn about, push, push. I am about to receive. I am about to receive. I am opening up. I am opening I up. I am opening up. I am opening up. Sit down. Hey. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. The word that you are going to receive, hey. it will impregnate you not with one baby. Amen. Hey, it will impregnate you with seven babies. Hey. Ayakusa Bata. Woo. Are you ready to open up? Amen. Hey, Say, I am opening up. I'm opening I am up. Opening up. Turn about, I am opening up. I am opening up. Say, I am opening up. I am opening up. Say, my neighbor. My neighbor. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. My noise, my noise is necessary. My noise. Oh. For my miracle. For my miracle. For my miracle. For my miracle. My noise is necessary. My noise. For my miracle. For my miracle. Say that. Amen. Are you ready to make noise? Yes. Do I have women who have ever gone to the labor ward? Huh? You don't keep quiet there. They will give you a bed and the midwife will say, please push. Push. And as you are pushing, please. There are some sudden crying that comes along with a miracle. Yeah. There are some certain screamings that come along with a miracle. Hey. There are some certain pain that come.
comes along with a miracle. Amen. As you are feeling pain, the baby is coming out. Amen. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. As you are screaming, hey. a Lamborghini is coming out. Hey. As you are screaming, hey. a house is coming hey. out. Amen. As you are screaming, hey. babies are coming out. Amen. Ah. Say it out. Go, go. Hey. Are you ready? Are you ready? Amen. I am preparing you. Yes. You are about to receive a weight. Amen. And this weight. Yes. Shakusu Zuzuze idea. I hear you. Losika Yashiki ya Prokotosia. I see. This weight of God. Yes. It was able to impregnate Mary. Amen. Without a husband. Amen. Number four. Yes. What do you do? You open up what? Your legs. You are too closed up. <laughs> Jesus is about to enter. Ah, you are not, you are not hearing this. Jesus is about to enter. Even asked Peter, he said, Peter, can I enter into your boat? Yes. Can I enter into your boat? Yes. I want to use your boat. But give me permission. Give me permission. Amen. Give me permission. Speak Amen. it out if Amen. I can use your pot. Speak it out if God must use you. Amen. Speak it out if God must bless you. Woo. Ha. Turn it back. Are you ready? Are you ready? To open up. To open up. We are in the labor ward. We are in the labor ward. So don't mind about my noise. Don't mind about my nose. I'm just giving birth. I'm just giving birth. I'm just giving birth. I'm just giving birth. Amen. God is looking for strange people. Yes. You know, okay, wait. Wait. Look. Before, remember I'm preparing you. Today. Yes. When you even go home. Yes. This word of God will remain in your spirit. Amen. I see. Look. On the first pregnancy yes. of any woman, the first, you know, pregnancy has got its own uh, 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 signs, eh? And uh, according to the bodies of people, some of them they behave very funny. Some of them is believed that if a woman she's having a baby boy, the nose becomes big. And some of them, they vomit. Eh? Some of them, their legs become very big. Eh? Some of them, they gain weight. Eh? So the weight of God, when it's coming inside you, yes. it comes to change. Amen. You find yourself, you are getting fat. Amen. Hey, I was asleep, but where is this fatness? Amen. You look at your mother. Your mother, she's very slim. Amen. The word of God has entered. You are becoming fatter Amen. and the fatter and the fatter Amen. and the fatter. Amen. So they, uh, they, they end up becoming fat. Isn't yes. it? And then, when they're going for labor work, eh? there is a preparation. They carry the clothes for the baby. So that the baby must not fall on the ground. Yes. There must be preparation for your miracle. Amen. And whenever she's giving birth, she'll be screaming out. Yes. I've, I've been told that there are some other ladies, they insult their husbands. On, 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 on the labor ward. It's in my language you hear. Say you, John, if I had known, I wouldn't have tried it. And after, after three months, when she delivered, after three months, the lady is coming like, let's try it again. <laughs> These things are very sweet. She has forgotten the pain. Huh? You are about to forget the pain. Amen. You are about to allow Jesus to impregnate you again. Hey, are you ready? Are you ready? 
You are about to allow Jesus to impregnate you. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. Lift up your hands. Say, My Father, my God. Hey, lift up your hands. Say, My Father, my God. As I receive your word. Impregnate me for the second time. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands for five seconds. Declare whatever you want God to do for you. I said declare. Lift your hands and declare. Declare, declare, declare. Lift your hands, lift your hands. Pray, pray. Let all creation say, and all the angels say, Say, let all creation, let all creation say, such an amazing God. Amen. Thank you for being our God. Amen. Thank you for being our Father. Amen. Thank you for being our Keeper. Amen. Thank you for being our Guide. Amen. Thank you for being our Protector. Thank you for being our Defender. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for who you are. We bless you, Lord, today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this prophetic altar. Amen. Thank you for your prophet. Amen. Thank you for the anointing that works over his life that we are standing in today. We thank you, Lord, for such a great honor and privilege to stand in your mighty presence. We give you praise, Lord, because you are a God who prepares a table for us in the presence of our enemy. Amen. Lord, we thank you because we're here to feast at your table. Amen. We thank you, Lord, because we're here not just to feast but to celebrate at that which, Lord, you have prepared for us Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you, Lord, because the battle belongs to you and victory belongs to us. Amen. We thank you, Lord, because you have done it all. And we thank you, Father, because you have done great and mighty things, O oh God, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for turning our ashes into beauty. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for turning our stories this morning. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for moving somebody from nothing into something, Amen. from nobody into somebody. Amen. Lord, thank you for giving us another identity. Amen. Thank you for giving us a new name. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit Amen. that abides with us all the days of our lives. Amen. Thank you for giving us such a comfort. Amen. Thank you for giving us such a help. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Isa Gadosho lo prakia mazagi dosha e kanta la prakando lo prakadha e sakadosha kalamando lo bosaya e sakante le prakandeya e sakadosha la prakande le prokodoski dosha yamanda in the name of Jesus be glorified O God in this place be magnified O God in the name of Jesus we thank you Lord. In the name of Jesus. 
In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you. Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you. If you believe, just help me sing. Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. Jesus, the Son of God. The Son of God. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe. I believe in you. Jesus, the Son of God. The Son of God. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you for my miracle today. Jesus, the Son of God. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe. I believe in you. Jesus, the Son of God. Jesus, the Son of God. I believe. I believe in you. I believe in you. Jesus, the Son of God. I'll believe in you. I'll believe. Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you. Yes, I believe. I believe in you. Jesus, you are the Son of God. Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. Oh, Zana, in the highest, let a king be lifted. Oh, oh, oh. 
lift you high, Lord. Be exalted in this place, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. if you can. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Shout on top of your voice. Just say hallelujah to the most high God. Somebody say hallelujah to the most high God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hit a high five to two people. Tell them that you're welcome in the presence of God. And tell them that today you are marked for greatness. Hallelujah. 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 I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Listen. 
I love to worship this God. He is awesome in this. Now listen. He is right here in this place. Amen. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. He has never changed and is not planning to change today. Amen. He did it in the past. He did it yesterday. He will do it today. He will do it tomorrow. Amen. Clap your hands for Jesus and have your seats if you can. I'd like to honor God Almighty for this opportunity to be ministering to his people. Amen. And I'd like to honor the God of this house. The man of this house. The father of this house. The husband of my life. The priest of my life. The king of my life. My Lord. Prophet Didi Isaac. For giving me this opportunity to share the word of the Lord. Amen. Whatsoever you see me doing, it's under his grace, under his anointing. Everything that will be happening here, I don't use an extra anointing, but I am just a partaker of the same grace and the same anointing that works over his life. Amen. And I am privileged to stand in the shoes of the prophet this morning. Amen. 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 Clap your hands for Jesus if you can. Amen. I'd like to honor the presence of Apostle Tavo and his wife. They're also in the house. Let's just celebrate them if we can. Hallelujah. And I've got the best apostle in the house. My personal apostle. Amen. Yeah, the director of Holy Ghost Embassy, Apostle Peter, is in the house. Let's just celebrate him if you can. And I also have my resident pastor, Pastor Keith. The best pastor that I know. I know you are the best, but there is the best among the best. Hallelujah. Don't we love our resident pastor? Can we celebrate him better if we can? And all the pastors, all the men of God in the house. May God bless you. Thank you for being with us today. And I believe that the God of Prophet Didi is going to bless us all. In Jesus' mighty name. As we were praising God, there's something that the Lord showed me about you. Before I minister the word of the Lord, can I talk to you just in one second? I want you to tell me no or yes, right? Do you know the number 10? Do you know 10? We are 10 in our family. Pow! Okay. You are 10 in your family. But I was looking for somebody who was born, is it 67, 69? 67, 69, between the two. My husband is 67, I'm 69 in the IT. Okay, now listen. Professor! The person who was born in 1969, I'm looking for the month of, uh, this is January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. God says stop there. I'm born in October. Now listen. Professor, major mom. Because when the prophet was standing there, I told God, I said, God, let me borrow his eyes. Let me see what he sees. Yes. Let me hear what he hears. Yes. Uh. yes. Now listen. I saw 10. And I saw month October. And I saw 1969. Amen. And the Lord says. The past year. It has been very hard for you. Amen. The last year and the previous year. And there is good news for you. Because. I saw the gates of the United States of America opening up for you. I receive, I receive. Listen. Yes. Oh, glory. There is a journey to the United States of America. Amen. And I saw a delay. Yes. The visas have already been granted. But I'm seeing something is not just getting together and somebody is not going to the United States of America. But as the prophet was standing there, the Lord opened my eyes and God says, this is the moment. It will not take more than... Pow! 
Uh, Major mom. If I had church here, they were going to celebrate. Oh. Can I do Kanyane Kanyane here? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Listen. Now, because you came to church today, yes. and the prophet is in the house, yes. and the God of the prophet is in the house. Glory. Bring her over here. Can I prophesy to somebody this time? Prophesy. Hey, listen. Say, Kanyan, Kanyan. Kanyan, Kanyan. Yeah, that's what I do. Now listen. You know what? The gates of America have opened for you. Amen. I can receive. Mommy. Listen. It is very true. Listen. I saw you. I saw somebody working in the hospital. I was working in the hospital for nine years. Now, okay, have you ever told me that you work in the hospital or maybe we have ever done anything about this thing? I did. Now listen. I saw somebody working in the hospital and I saw a connection in the United States of America in the hospital again. I receive. I don't know how this thing is going to happen but the God of Prophet Didi, the God that I say. I receive in Jesus' name. The muzozo on my head. The muzozo on the head of the prophet of this house. It is so Listen. Much, ma uh, Mama, uh, please, I want to talk about my delay. Yes. It's very true. The, the time I get visa, me, my husband, and my two children, my husband went home to sell his land. But God is so awesome because he has never sold the land. Instead, he borrowed money with, the, with their lands. When he entered our gate, they took all his money, all his clothes. So that was our delay. We should have gone already. So I thank God for your life. They stole the money from the husband. Oh. Now because Muzozo is available, ah, thank you, Jesus. I therefore decree and I declare over I your life. Receive. Let the God of Prophet Didi provide for you. I receive it. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive it. Those who desire doors to America, they are I open receive for you. It. In the mighty name of Jesus. I it. Can I prophesy? Prophesy. You love prophecy. I was not sent to prophesy, I was sent to preach the word. So I just disobeyed that one. Amen. I just did Kangane. Yeah, so let's get to the word of God. That's our business Thank for today. You, Jesus. Thank you. you are blessed. You come with a living testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Listen. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. neighbor. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. And tell your neighbor, say, neighbor. Talkers are takers. So if you don't open your mouth to receive, you don't take what belongs to you. Jesus, I'm so excited about what God is about to do today. Yo. You know why I get excited is because he speaks to me too. And I believe the God of the prophet of this house. He will locate you today in the name of Jesus. And guess what? You are not sitting there by divine mistake. You are sitting there by the divine appointment of God. And God has a divine message for you. God has a divine word for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive. If you're a believer, say, I receive it. I receive it. Jesus. So I'm so grateful to God. Amen. 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 I said amen. Amen. Yeah, I'm so much honored and privileged to have my mother in the house. Amen. 
Yeah. That's my mother. A borrowed mother to Prophet did. I just borrowed him, but he's my mother. She's my mother. Amen. 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 She's such a blessing to my life. Amen. Amen. Hey. Hey. Hallelujah. Choir, thank you very much. Have your beautiful seats and enjoy in the presence of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. Are we ready for the word of God? Is your pen ready, your notebook ready, your Bible ready? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us quickly go to the book of Genesis chapter number 12. That's one of my favorite scriptures. Amen. Genesis chapter number 12. Verse 1 to 3. If you are there, say amen. I want us to read together. One, two, three, go. Now Jehovah said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto the land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and be thou a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and him that curses thee will I curse, and thee shall all the families of the earth shall be blessed. And all the families of the earth shall be blessed through you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. And all the families of the earth shall be what? Through who? Through who? Okay, let us quickly go to Jeremiah chapter number 30, verse 19 to 22. I want us to read those anchor scriptures before I go down. Jeremiah 30, verse 19 to 22. If you are there, say amen. The Bible says, if you are there, are you there? If you are not yet there, say wait for me. Jeremiah chapter number 30, verse 19 to 22. The Bible reads, let us read together, one, two, three. And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry. And I'll multiply them, and they shall not be few. And I'll also glorify them, and they shall not be small. Their children also shall be as a full time. And the congregation shall be established before me. And I will punish all that oppress them. And their prince shall be of themselves. And their ruler shall proceed from the midst of them. And I will cause him to draw near. And he shall approach unto me. For who is he that has had boldness to approach unto me, says Jehovah. And ye shall be my people and I will be your God. God says he shall be our God and we shall be his people. And he says that 
He will glorify us. Hey. Amen. Where there is them, you should put us. Amen. Out of us shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them, of us that make merry. In other words, out of us shall produce celebration out of what the Lord is going to do in our lives. And the Bible says he will cause us to multiply and we shall not be few, but he shall glorify us and we shall not be small. So tell your neighbor, say, I am not small. Oh, tell your neighbor, say, I am not small. Tell them, I am not small. And tell them that I am called for greatness. Say, I am marked for greatness and success. Tell your neighbor, say, I am marked for success and greatness. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, their children also shall be as a foretime, and their congregation shall be established. Where it says congregation, in other words, the church shall be established. Oh my God. The church of the Lord, which is the body of Christ, which is you and I, we shall be established. So where there's no establishment today, the Lord is going to do what? Establish us. Say your business shall be established. Say, my business shall be established. Say, my ministry shall be established. My marriage shall be established. My finances shall be established. Hallelujah. And guess what the Bible says? He says, I will punish all that oppress thee. In other words, anybody who stands your word, anybody who stands against the plan of God over your life, anyone who stands against the divine purpose of God over your life shall be oppressed by the Lord himself. Actually, he's going to punish them. He will not just oppress them, but there is a punishment that has been assigned for such. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Hallelujah. And their prince shall be of themselves. And their ruler shall proceed from the midst of them. And I will cause him to draw near. And he shall approach unto me. For who is he that has the boldness to approach unto me? That is God asking, right? In other words, who is he who has the audacity? Who has the capacity, the capacity or the ability, the boldness, the guts to come and stand before me. In other words, it's like every time you stand before the Lord, it's every time you dare God. He is so great that we are not even worthy to stand before his presence. But still more, even in his greatness, by his infinite grace, his infinite mercies, he says, who is he who comes with boldness? Who is he who comes to stand before me? In other words, the fact that we have taken a step of faith, the fact that we had to leave whatsoever businesses we had, we have left our homes just to be in the presence of God this morning. Who are you to come and dare the mightiness of God. In other words, he is so great. He is so mighty to the point that he is not a God who can fail us. He is not a God who can lie unto us. The Bible says he is not a man that he should lie. Nor a son of man that he needs repentance. In other words, he's a man of his words. He's a God of his promises. He does not do things beyond what he has promised. He does not do things beyond what he has foretold about our stories hallelujah somebody say amen. amen now listen i am talking about i am marked for greatness and success you are marked for what ah huh? say i am marked for greatness and success testify it to your neighbor tell somebody i am marked for greatness and success Listen. Oh my God. The Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter number 12. God speaks to Abraham and he tells him, right? He says, get out of your country. And from your family, get out of your father's house. And go unto the land that which I will show you. In other words, God assigns him. 
to be on the move. Now there are certain miracles you cannot attend them until you take a step of faith. There are certain things you cannot achieve them until you take a risk. I remember prophet was saying last time he said life is a risk and not taking a risk is a risk. Hallelujah. Life is a what? It's a risk and not taking risks in life it's a risk. Hallelujah. Now God gave this assignment to Abraham to go out of his father's house to go to a nation. And God says, and I'll make thee a great nation and I'll bless thee and I'll make the, great, the name great and thou and be thou a blessing and I'll bless they that bless thee and I'll curse they that curse thee. Hallelujah. And thee shall all the families of the earth in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. In other words, God has called us to be a blessing, not to one individual, not to one family, but to be a blessing to nations. In other words, God has called us for what? For nations. So if you are saying you are already blessed, oh yes, there are some people who would say, how are you? And somebody would answer, I am blessed. They say, oh, I'm already blessed, right? Thank God you are blessed. But for as long as you cannot even feed one nation, you as an individual, you are not yet blessed. Because God desires that we feed nations. Because God's desire is that we must be a blessing to nations, not a nation. So for as long as we have not reached at that level, for as long as we have not yet moved to that dimension, just know that we are still far. Tell your neighbor, say, I am yet to get to my level of greatness. Shake your neighbor, tell them I'm yet to get to my level of greatness. Hallelujah. What is greatness? Maybe, what is greatness? Right? Greatness can simply be defined as being of high significance. Being of high what? Significance or maybe being of the highest quality. Being of the highest quality. If you are saying you are great, you must have high quality. You must be the best among the rest. Oh yeah. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. You are about to become a point of reference in your life in the name of Jesus. Listen, people will refer to you for miracles and blessings. People will say, look at the God of who and whosoever. Your name will be attached to their blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Now listen, if greatness is being of high quality or maybe high significance or the highest quality, that means that greatness comes with a lot of sacrifice. You don't just get to a level of your greatness just like that. Amen? Greatness calls for sacrifice. You do what the rest don't do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Mm. Listen. I want to fly with you soon. Amen. Amen. But I want you to get me very right. Hallelujah. Now, for you to be great in life, you have... To be willing to do uncommon responsibility. Amen. Your willingness to do uncommon responsibilities calls for greatness. Amen. Be able to do uncommon responsibilities. What others are saying we can do. Be the one to say I can do it. Amen. So be willing to do what others are refusing to do. Amen. Amen. Your willingness to do uncommon responsibility shall bring greatness over your life. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Your, number two, it's your willingness to confront your enemy that no one else is willing to confront. Your willingness to confront 
the enemy that your fellows are not willing to confront. The same way David was willing to confront Goliath. Everybody else was scared. Everybody else thought maybe Goliath was too huge. Nobody could stun him. But even in his small stature in his body, he was willing to take such a responsibility to go and fight with Goliath. Hallelujah. The other point is for you to be committed. Your commitment towards your goals that you set for your life. Your commitment is very important. Hallelujah. Number, number what? Number four. Number four. Be a covenant child of God. Be a what? Be a what? Be a what? Be a what? And be a covenant child of your spiritual father. Don't be a child to everybody. Be a covenant son and be a covenant daughter of your father. Hallelujah. And you must be very careful with people of covenants. Because people, men of covenants, they are very dangerous people. Hallelujah. And covenant is not a temporary agreement. Covenant is a lifetime agreement. So if you have chosen to, to save under a man of God, choose to save that man of God for your lifetime. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Where covenant is concerned, you must learn to follow. Follow after the God of your father. Follow what makes him to be great. Follow what makes him to be distinguished from other people. Hallelujah. Follow his faith. Stick to what he's sticking in the things of God. Praise the name of the Lord. I said praise the name of the Lord. I said praise the name of the Lord. Your testimony shall be a quality testimony. I said your testimony shall be a quality testimony. I said your testimony shall be a quality testimony. See. I told you that quality comes with a lot of what? It comes with a lot of sacrifice. So if you are not willing to sacrifice, then you are not willing to, to live a quality life. For God to be pure God, it has to pass through fire. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Mm. Can I talk to you? I said, can I talk to you? I said, can I talk to you? Mm. Everybody has issues, right? Even the neighbor that you're sitting next to, you, they might look so smart, they might not look as though they have problems. But each one of us, we have our personal issues that God deals with us every day. Somebody who is sitting next to you might look as a multimillionaire and yet they might have nothing in their accounts. Somebody who is sitting next to you right now, they might look like they are nobodies. Who knows they are the somebodies of tomorrow. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Tell your neighbor you are marked for success and greatness. Remind them, just remind them, tell them you are marked for success and greatness. Listen. Abram was marked for success. He was marked for greatness. Hallelujah. And we are a seed of Abraham. Hallelujah. Are we not the seed of Abraham? Are we not the seed of Abraham? And the Bible says he commanded him to leave his father's house. So I told you to say sometimes greatness will call you to take a step of faith. It will call you to go beyond what others have gone. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. 
I said hallelujah. I pray that God will cause you to take an extra mile for your miracle. I said, I pray that God will cause you to take an extra mile for your testimony. I receive. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive. Hmm. Jesus. I love the story in the book of Luke chapter number 3 verse 40. I mean chapter number 8 verse 43 to 48. Which talks about a woman who had an issue of blood. Hallelujah. I said Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. You might be in need of great healing this morning. Amen. You might be in need. Maybe the greatness that you want God to take you to is the greatness in healing. Maybe in a good marriage. Maybe in success. You know, in your career and other things. Hallelujah. But there are certain things that you need to do that others don't do in order for you to get what others won't get. Hmm. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. So now the Bible says, listen. The Bible talks about the woman who had an issue of blood. And this woman, she had to make her way. When she heard that Jesus had come to the city. She had to make her way. And make sure that she finds means and words on how she could just touch the heart, I mean the hem of his garment. Hallelujah. Now the hem of his garment may mean the heart of your man of God. What is it that you need to do to touch the anointing, to move, to stir up the anointing that is in the man of God that God has given you? The Bible says this woman, nobody noticed the touching, her coming in up to the touching. They only realized when Jesus had stood up and said, somebody touched me. Now listen. Nobody noticed that this woman had touched Jesus, except Jesus himself. Now, remember, at that time, if you are bleeding as a woman, you are considered as a what? An outcast. You were not allowed to commune with the rest of the congregation. Or with the rest of the people in the society. You are set aside and you were set apart. Now listen to me. There are certain circumstances. There are certain problems. There are certain issues. That will cause certain people to reject you. That will cause certain people to look at you as an outcast. I know you didn't hear me. There are certain circumstances that will cause you to look as though you are not qualified for what others are qualified for. And there are certain challenges that have given you a name. Her name is not mentioned in the scriptures. It's only the issue, a woman of an issue of blood. Was that her name? No. Maybe she was called Susan or Mary or Elizabeth. But her name is not mentioned. Only her situation is mentioned. Some of you, your situations are the ones that are being mentioned every day. Some of you, they call you that barren woman. Some of you, they call you that prostitute, that drunkard, that womanizer, that whatsoever. Your situation has defined you. But guess what? I've got good news for you. The good news is that the Lord God Almighty is calling you for greatness today. The good news is that you are marked for greatness and success today. And it doesn't matter who looks down on you. It doesn't matter who doesn't see any goodness out of you. Because God does not look on your outward appearance. But he looks in the intents of your heart. He searches much deeper within. That is within you. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Amen. I said 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 hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Tell somebody, say, I am marked for greatness. Tell somebody, I am marked for success. They might have given you a name. They might have called you names. They might have given you a title. But that does not define the purpose and the success that God called you to be. In the name of Jesus. Can I decree and I declare somebody. Listen. Listen to me. Are we ready? Are we ready somebody? Are you ready to march into your greatness? Are you ready to march into your success? Are you ready to march into your success? Are you ready to march into your greatness? Listen, the Bible says in the book of Haggai, quickly, let me close shortly. In the book of Haggai, chapter number 2, verse 7. Oh, God. Jesus. Haggai, chapter number 2, verse 7 to 9. The Bible says, if you're there, say amen. And I'll shake all nations. And the precious things of nations shall come. And I'll fill this house with glory. Mm. Says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine. And God is mine. Said Jehovah of hosts. The later glory of this house shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, says Jehovah of hosts. Are you there? Are you there? I said, are you there? The Bible says silver and gold belongs to him. Amen. He says it's mine. So I know a lot of people define greatness with wealth and they define greatness with riches. But the Bible says silver in God is mine. So if it is his, then I am a shareholder or I have an inheritance in him. Because every parent... We don't work for the success of ourselves to feed ourselves. The success of every good parent is the success of his children. So you are not just a mere child. You are a child of God. You are a son and a daughter of the Most High God. So in other words, if, if gold and silver belongs to him, that means whatsoever belongs to him, it also belongs to you. I wish I had people who had a revelation who would say amen. Hey, hallelujah. And the Bible says, the later glory of this house shall be greater than the former. In other words, there are people in this house who say, maybe I used to have finances, but I don't know where my finances went to. I used to touch money, but I don't touch it the same way I am touching it now. I, ha I, I had tested the life of being wealthy. I have tested the kind of a good life. But I don't know where it is going. Or maybe I don't know where this kind of good life. How it is just scattering in within no time. Maybe in a blink of an eye everything just scatters. You don't even understand. You don't even ha know how it came to that stage. You don't even know what came along your way for your life to be scattered. Can I talk to somebody in this place? Now listen. You might be saying, God, but I had tested your glory. In the former, in the past, I used to have a certain level of glory. Yes. But right now, there is nothing that I have around me that yes. can define the glory of God. Yes. There is nothing that I have around me uh -huh. that can speak about the glory yeah. of God. Can I have, I have a good news for somebody this yeah, afternoon. Man. Listen to me. The yes. Bible says, the latter glory shall be greater than the former. In other words, where you are stopped with your greatness, there is a sign of greatness ahead of you. There is something that is better than what you tested. There is something that is beautiful than what you saw in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen to me. The word of the Lord says, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no heart 
let us perceive that which the Lord has pushed in store for yes. they that love God. Yes. Now I have got good news for yes. the lovers of God. Yes. If you love God, guess what? No eye has seen, no ear has heard, yes. no heart has perceived yes. that which the Lord has yes. put in store for you. Yes. And I've got good news for somebody here. Yes. Yet there is a better miracle for you. Yes. There is a quality testimony yes. that is waiting for you. There is a quality word that is coming for you. Yes. There is a quality blessing that God is preparing yes. for you. I therefore decree and I declare over your life. Listen. We are not called for lesser things. Amen. We are called for greatness. Amen. Because the God that we have in us, He's a great God. Amen. He's the Almighty God. Amen. He's the mighty God. Amen. I therefore decree and I declare over your life. You did not call yourself. Yes. Your father did not call you. Yes. Your mother did not call you. Yes. Guess what? Uh -huh. God is the one who called you. Yes. God is the one who foreknew you. Yes. In the book of Jeremiah 1 verse 5 says, yes. I foreknew you. Yes. I knew you yes. before you were formed yes. in your mother's womb. Yes. I set you apart. Yes. I ordained you. Yes. So in other words, God ordained us for specific miracles. God ordains us for specific assignments. Hey. Hey. He created you because you were a need in the project of God. Now listen. He cannot create you. Yes. If he had no papers over your life. Some people don't know what God has called them to do. They don't even know. They keep asking themselves. I don't even know the meaning of my life. I don't have. My life doesn't have a meaning anymore. You want to have the meaning of your life? Get back to the word of God. Yeah. It will tell you what you are called to do. Yeah. It will call you what it talks about. Yeah. It will make you to be what God says you are. Yeah. It will make you to help you yeah. to be where God wants you to be. Yeah. It will cause you to be pushed up yeah. and be kind of put into the dimension yeah. where God wants you to be operating from. Yeah. Listen to me. God did not create you to be undermined by anybody. God did not create you to be wasted by this war. Yeah. God created you in order for him to remove or maybe to take out greatness out of you. Amen. Hey! Amen. Listen. Yes. Your business might be collapsing. Yeah. But guess what? Yes. It has been marked for greatness. Amen. I don't have my church here. Maybe I have my church over here. Listen to me. Your marriage might be at a tip of collapsing. Yeah. Guess what? Guess what? Your marriage has been marked for what? For greatness and success. Yeah, it is not falling in any way. It is not coming to an end in yeah. any way. The devil is not going to clap hands yeah, over man. your failures. The devil is not going to celebrate yeah. over the things that you have failed to achieve. Yeah, Guess what somebody? The Lord has called you for yeah. greatness. you it doesn't matter who has not called you yes when god has called you yes power you don't need the backing of man i don't need the support of man yes i need the support of god yes because it is the heavenly host yes. that backs me up yes. that supports me yes. that fights for me yes. that does things on my behalf ah. somebody say yeah ah. Listen to me. Listen. Can I read you the last scripture? The Bible says in the book of Joshua, chapter number one, verse eight. 
Eya katora mandara bosaya. Eza gadoshi kara mandara bosikaya. Eza gadosha kaya mando. Father, we bless your name. Amen. The Bible says, Hey, can my pastor read for me? Please read for me if you can. Joshua 1 verse 8. Read it quickly. Read it quickly. Oh, Sahya Mande Rebo Sikaya Mande. Hey. Hey. My God. Verse 8 to 9. What does the Bible say? Thank you, Mama. Joshua 1 verse 8 reads. Mm. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, mm -hmm. but you shall meditate on it day and night, mm -hmm. that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. Uh -huh. For then you will make your way prosperous. Uh -huh. and then you will have good success. You shall have what? Good success. Not any kind of success, Amen. but good Amen. success. Amen. Oh, Amen. this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. And I told you, I said, talkers are takers. Yes. Talkers are what? Takers. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. So, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. In other words, these promises of God shall not depart from your mouth. In other words, it's my obligation to begin to testify, to begin to, to prophesy what the word of God says about me. Amen. Day and night. Wow. And the Bible says, and you shall observe accordingly what is written in it. Hey, Jesus. So it is only when you observe accordingly that you shall make thy way prosperous. It says, thou shall make thy way. So it is my responsibility to confess in my future, to confess in my tomorrow. Amen. In order for my ways to be prosperous. Amen. Ask your neighbor, what do you prophesy about your business? What do you prophesy in your marriage? What do you prophesy about your children? What do you prophesy about your ministry? Listen to me. Prophet Didi, he encourages me. He's one of my best encouragement in my life. Listen. The other time, he, he tells us to say, there was a time in life when he used to go to the mountain and he would look at the trees and began to prophesy. To say, you trees, you shall turn into human beings. And one day I shall come and prophesy to you. One day I shall come and speak a word of God to you. And he always says, that word at the mountain, those trees, we are the trees today in Holy Ghost Embassy. Now, that means there is power in the tongue, as the Bible says in the book of Proverbs. The power of life and death lies in your tongue. Ask your neighbor, what do you prophesy? Shake your neighbor, what do you prophesy? Ask them, what do you prophesy? Ask your neighbor, what do you prophesy? Tell them, what do you prophesy? Mm. Listen. John 10.10 10 says, the devil comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But Jesus says, but I have come to give life Amen. and life in abundance. Ah. In other words, it is this kind of abundant life in success and prosperity that God is calling us for. Amen. He has come to give us life in abundance. Amen. In other words, it is the will of God for us to have excess. Amen. 
It is the will of God for our cup to run over. Amen. It is the will of God for us to have an overflow. Amen. It is the will of God for you to have an overflow. Amen. And therefore decree and I declare over your life. I receive it. Your cup shall run over. I receive it. Your finances shall run over. I receive it. Your marriage shall run over. I receive it. Everything about you shall run over. I receive it. Excellence at your workplace shall run over. I receive it. Excellence in your children shall I run over. Oh, hey, 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 yes, hey, 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 tell your neighbor, say, God knew me before I was formed in the belly of my mother. He knew me. He knew me. Tell them he knew me. He knew me. Tell them that he searched me. Imagine the Bible says he searched me. In other versions, it says he searched me. In other words, how could he search for something that was not there? How could he search for you when you were not in existence? How could he begin to search for something that is not there? Hey, my God. I said, my God. I said, my God. I said, my God. Say, I, he has appointed me. He has appointed me. Say, I have an appointment with God. I have an appointment with God. Say, I have an appointment with God. I have an appointment with God. Pow! And tell your neighbor, say, this appointment. This appointment. Is simply a call to my greatness. Simply a call to my greatness. And that appointment is today. And that appointment is today. And my greatness begins today. And my greatness begins today. Say my greatness begins today. My greatness begins today. Say my greatness begins today. My greatness begins today. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Neighbor. Say neighbor. Neighbor. He ordained me. Tell them he ordained me. He ordained me. Before he formed me. Before he formed me. Later on. Later on. He began to form me. He began to form me. Tell them, say neighbor. Neighbor. He secured me. He secured me. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Neighbor. He sanctified me. He sanctified me. Now, when we talk about sanctification, sanctification is not about your outward beauty. It is far much better than the outward appearance. Yes. It's far much better than what you have. Yes. It's far much better than what you lost. Yes. Power. Oh. 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 I, I don't know. People are standing. Sorry. If you want to sit, sit. If you want to stand, stand. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. <clears throat> hey. 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 You were not meant to collapse. Amen. You were not meant to die where you are. Amen. You were not meant to be a destitute. Amen. You are the head and not the tail. Power. Yes. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Neighbor. I am not a beggar. I am not a beggar. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. I am not a destitute. I am a child of an appointment of God. I am a child of an appointment of God. I am not born by accident. I am not born by accident. I am not living by accident. I am, by accident. I am the appointment of God. Appointment of God. Hallelujah. Ah. I said hallelujah. Ah. I said hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the name. Neighbor is a boring neighbor. Shake somebody else. Tell them it's not yet over. It's not yet over. Oh, I said celebrate and shake somebody. Say it's not yet over. It's not yet over. Tell them it's not yet over. It's not yet over. Until God says it's over. Until God says it's over. Pow. Hey. Yes. It's not yet over. over. Until God says it's, it's over. over. Yes. Listen, in the book of Genesis chapter number 25, the Bible talks about Adam and Eve. And the Bible says, then Adam knew his wife Eve again. In other words, 
Then Adam made love to his wife again. After his son had been killed. Cain killed the brother, right? Cain killed who? Huh? He killed the brother Abel. And I want to imagine how, how painful it was for the parents to see these good boys growing up together in love, in harmony, being good boys. And all of a sudden, the other one decides to kill the other. And the Bible says in verse 25 to say, after he knew, after he knew his wife, again, the wife conceived and had another son. Now, I want to believe when he, she lost the son, it was too painful and she thought nothing good could come out of her anymore. You know, there are certain times in life when things get so confused. When the world seems as though it has come to a standstill. When the world seems as though there is no source or there is no help coming to you in any way. Because maybe you might have put your trust. You might have trusted people who have let you down several times. You might have believed in your family members who you thought there would be a source of help. And at the end of the day, they turned you down and they became the source of disappointment. You might have a miracle. Maybe you were making money properly. All of a sudden, money disappears. All of a sudden, you lose your job. All of a sudden, everything about you scatters. You don't even know where they went to. She was a happy Mother, Eve was a happy mother. Amen. All of a sudden, the son disappears in her sight. And it's very painful to lose a child. But she thought maybe this is an end. Or maybe this now, my world is coming to an end. But guess what? When you have an appointment with the Lord. Amen. When you have an appointment with God. Amen. When God has set you apart, you have been appointed. If you have an appointment to your greatness and success. It doesn't matter what comes along the way. It doesn't matter. You are still a carrier of a seed. Amen. There is still a seed inside of you. Amen. That has to be birthed out. Amen. There is something inside of you that needs to come out of Amen. you. The same God. Who gave you the ability. The same God. Who gave you the ability to make those finances that you lost? The same God. Who gave you that child that you lost? The same God. Who gave you that business that you lost? Amen. The same God. Who gave you that husband that you lost? Amen. The same God. Who made you to make it in your matrix? Amen. The same God. Who did it for you before? Amen. He's not a dead God. Amen. He's a living God. Amen. I said he's a living God. Amen. I said he's a living God. Amen. I said he's a living God. Amen. And he's not yet done with you. Amen. He's still calling you for what belongs to Amen. you. He's still calling you for the right position. Amen. He's still calling you for the right destiny. Amen. He's still calling you for the thing that he has assigned for Amen. you. Shake your neighbor, say it's not yet over. Tell your neighbor, say it's not yet over. Tell somebody it's not yet over. Until God says it's over. Hey, I said until God says it's over. There is still a seed inside of you. That still needs to be birthed out. Amen. There is still a seed inside of you. Amen. There is still the investment of God inside of Amen. you. And listen, where God invests, he does not invest in, in, vain, yes. in vain, so to say. Yes. Wherever God has invested something, Amen. just know at the end of the day, that thing shall multiply. Amen. Oh, we read a scripture in the book of Jeremiah, right? 
Jeremiah 30, right? Yes. It was telling us to say, we shall multiply. Amen. We shall increase. Amen. We shall be glorified. Amen. Hey. Hey. Say, I shall be glorified. I shall be glorified. Tell somebody, say, I shall be increased. I shall be increased. Tell somebody, I shall be multiplied. I shall be say, I shall be multiplied. I shall be multiplied. Say, I am marked for success. I am marked for, mark for greatness. Mark for My greatness. marriage is marked for greatness. My, My business is marked for business. business for greatness. So they say, now somebody, can you testify to yourself? Amen. Listen, stand up on your feet. Stand up on your feet. I receive. I receive. Hey. Hey. Power. Hey. Shake your neighbor. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Say neighbor. Neighbor. It's not yet over. It's not yet over. Until God says it's over. Until God says it's over. Listen, the fact that you're still breathing today, Amen. the fact that you're still alive today, Amen. it gives you enough proof that God still has some business with you. Amen. If your business with God was over, he was going to allow your breath to be end, to come to an end. Everybody who still, who doesn't have business with God anymore, they have gone to, in the graves, right? God has no business with them. That is why even in that terrible accident, God did not allow you to die. Amen. Because he still had an appointment with you. Pow. Listen to me. Even when everybody left you alone, even when everything crumbled like Job, you know, Job went through so much pain to the point that the wife told him to insult God. But Job held on to his God. He said, I will not save any other God. Amen. My God remains to be the living God. Amen. You might have come to that point of life where everything is scattered. Everything. But the fact that you're still breathing, you might have no braid in your, in your braid bin, but that does not mean that God hates you. Braid is not superior than your breath. The fact that you don't have a car, the fact that you don't have a house, yes. that does not mean that God has no business with you. Amen. <laughs> God still has the whole lot of business with you. Yes. He still has an appointment with you. Yes. Amen. The fact that you did not die when everybody else died. In your whole family, your family members, everybody's dying every year. And you're the only one standing. The fact that you're still alive. Amen. God still has some business Amen. with you. Hey, I said God still has some business with you. Amen. Hey. He still has some serious business with you. And that business... Is about to come to pass. I receive it. I said it's about to come to pass. I receive it. Some of us, God has not allowed us to die prematurely because God wants to, us to test a certain level of glory. Amen. A certain level of greatness. Amen. A certain level of authority. Amen. A certain level of dominion. Amen. You might have two people in your ministry. You might have two or three people who are following you. Maybe only you and your children and your... It doesn't matter. Amen. The fact that you are still alive. Amen. The fact that you are still having the calling of God in Amen. you. The fact that the gift of God is still residing in Amen. you. You are not a wasted material. Amen. God can still rebuild you up. Amen. God can still do great things with you. Amen. And guess what? The latter glory yeah. shall be greater ah. than the former. The Bible says the Lord shall cause the earth, the nations to shake. So certain miracles, God will allow a certain shaking for him to place you at the right place for your miracle. Ah. He might have moved you from a certain place to another place just to set you for the appointment or the divine place for your divine miracle. Amen. Blind Bartimaeus had to move from wherever to come and sit by the roadside. Hey. 
There are certain places that you have left. There are certain jobs where they fired you. There are certain men of God that have disappointed you. Let it go. There are certain things that don't make sense anymore. God is simply making your environment uncomfortable so that he can set you at a place where he has put something great for you. Yes. You are not called for anything bad. You are the appointed child of God. I want you to shout it on top of your voice. Say, I am marked for success and prosperity. I am marked for success and prosperity. Say, I am marked for success and prosperity. I am marked for success and prosperity. Power. Hey. 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 Testify to three people. Tell them that your greatness, my greatness, they are guaranteed. My greatness is marked for guarantee. 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 Lift up your hands, lift up your hands. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, pray. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Push yourself. Claim it. Claim it. Claim it. Claim it. Claim it. Claim it. Lift your hands wherever you are. Claim it. Le rocha diga su capalania, le rocha diga zoko para nezo zu, girate e zika tu, me kashata. God of everything, God of everything, heaven and earth have no, the heaven no God no, we will say. Glory to the King. Magnify His name. Magnify His name. He is God. He is God. The songs we sing. The songs we sing. The air we breathe. It all belongs to Him. God of everything. We praise Your name. We praise Your name. We shout for joy. For joy. Glory to the King. Magnify His name. Magnify His name. He is God. He is God. He's the wonder. 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 Lift up your hands and clap, 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 clap. I say He's the wonder. He's the wonder. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift your hands high. Shh. Lift up your hands. You have received the word of God. Oh. oh. Nobody like you, Lord. Come on, let's sing along. Nobody like you, Lord. Lift up your voice. One, two, three, go. 
Lift up your hands. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Oh, oh, oh. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Jesus. Nobody can be compared to you, Lord. Oh, say nobody like you, Jesus. Nobody like you, Lord. Of Sharon. 
He is the Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. The chief cornerstone. The great physician. Our provider. Our healer. Our advocate. Our judge. Our defender. Our protector. Lift up his holy name. He's Jehovah Shama. He's Jehovah Tendukeno. He's Jehovah El Kippur. He's Jehovah Ebenezer. He's Jehovah Elohim. That is his name. Worship him wherever you are. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Holy are you Lord. I say holy. Lift your hands, come on, listen to the Lord. Are you ready to make some noise? Jehori Mushene, yes, you are holy. You are holy. Jehovah, you are holy. You are holy. You are holy. I say holy are you Lord God Holy are you Lord of might Worthy are you Lord of might We sing now and we'll say I say holy are you Lord Holy are you Lord Worthy are you Lord Worthy are you Lord We cry now We cry And we'll say Worship him wherever you are. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Lift up your hands wherever you are. If you are ready for him, come on, give him praise. Give him praise. I say, holy, holy, holy. We cry, holy. We cry, holy. God wants to speak to you, but you have not worshipped him. You have not worshipped him. The Lord says we must worship him. That's when he will speak to us. Lift up your hands. Shh. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. 
the Lord says we must worship him. That's the only thing I can hear now. Amen. I can hear him saying. Wait, wait, lift up hands. Lift up hands. Lift up hands. Lift up hands. Mashadagas. Masado. Asasha. Oh, Masu. He Masu. He Jasu. Masho Shadiga La Rosha Diga Su Mazu Sing unto the Lord a new song Miso Shadi Come on sing unto the Lord a new song Just come up with something Oh Shasu He Maso so shadow la rone ve no shadi la no sobre no shadi li crosharo so like a cloud in the day like the fire in the night Lord let me see your Shekinah glory like the cloud in the day like the fire in the night Lord let me see your Shekinah glory like the cloud in the day like the fire in the night Lord let me see let me see your Shekinah glory Say like the cloud in the day, like the cloud in the day, like the fire in the night. Lord, let me see your Shekinah glory. I say like the cloud in the day, like the fire in the night. Lord, let me see your Shekinah glory. One more time, I say like the cloud in the day, like the fire in the night. Lord, let me see your second of glory. I say, Holy Spirit, oh. I say, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. I say, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. I say, Holy Spirit. Shekinah glory. I say Shekinah glory. Shekinah glory. I say Shekinah glory. Shekinah glory. We sing Shekinah glory. I say open my eyes. Open my eyes so I can see. One lies ahead. One lies before me. Lies before me. Lord, would you open my eyes? Open my eyes so I can see. One lies ahead. One lies ahead. One lies before. One lies before me. I say, open my eyes. Open my eyes so I can see. One lies ahead. One lies ahead. One lies before me. One lies before me. I say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we call the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we say Holy Spirit. Holy, Holy Spirit, we say Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, lift up your hands wherever you are. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. 
I see the Spirit of God. I see the Spirit of God. The environment is already charged up. It is you to charge yourself. It is you to charge yourself. Lift up your hands. Lift your hands. Holy Spirit, you are my source of information. You are the one who speaks to me and brings the reality of God to his people. Sit down. Sit down. Clap us for Jesus. I said, clap your hands for Jesus. Can I speak to you? The Lord has remembered you. The Lord has remembered you. When you were worshiping God, I saw the Lord removing the burden away from you. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord says, I must pray for you because for the past three years, it has been challenging in the area of finances. Yes. Is it true? Yes. Because as I'm looking at you, I saw you fighting with your boss. Yes, Whereby daddy. you are in court. Yes, you are in court. Yes, you true. fired your boss. Yes, it's true, like daddy. you sued him. You sued yes, him. Huh? Yes. And you are waiting for your money. Yes, Can daddy. I prophesy? Yes. Prophesy. Did he Isaac. Superating for the notorious. Yeah. Prophesy. Jesus. Prophesy. Yes. Receive, receive, receive. Oh. Take, 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 take. I receive it. Take your miracle. I receive Say, it. I receive it. I receive Say, it. I take my house. I take, I take my money. I take my, money. I take my second I barrel. Take Say, I receive it. I receive it. I suka balo siya siga. Rekoso prania. I receive it. I open the heaven for you. I receive it. I open gates for you. I receive it. Enter in your destiny. I receive it. Enter in your miracle. I receive it. Enter in your son. I receive it. I say, receive it. I receive it. Receive, receive. I say, Receive. Receive, receive. I receive. I receive. Say, I take it. I take it. Cheese. That's my boss. Sit down. Pow. You are in a court now. You are in a court. Yes, yes. You are in a court. Yes, even, even three weeks ago, even three weeks ago, I saw where you were complaining that your money has taken long yes, because daddy. it's like your boss was mistreating you yes, at work. Yes. And now it's like you sued the boss. Yes, daddy. Is it true? true. Is it true? I I am traveling to, to, to Zimbabwe. Yes, Zimbabwe. That's you are from Zimbabwe. From. Yes, Daddy. Prophetic sharpshooter. Daddy Isaac. Come here. Come here. You are from Zimbabwe. Yes, Daddy. But you are using an aslam. Aslam yes, pepper. Aslam. Aslam. Yes, I see a permanent residence. Release for you. For you. For you. For you. Oh, I receive it. Oh, Prophesy. you are not hearing this. Take, take, take. I receive it. Take, take. I receive it. Take your miracle. I receive it. Take your miracle. Ah. You are using an aslam. Yes, daddy. Aslam pepper. Yes, daddy. Four weeks ago, yes, you were in Pretoria. Yes, daddy. Yes, yes, daddy. Spiritual sharpshooter. Professor. Whatever said that you will not go anywhere. Ah. I receive it. You shall look for it and you'll never see it anymore. I receive it. Say, I receive it. I receive it. Sit down, sit down. I come Pow. to push seven people into ah. their destiny. You are using an aslam paper. Yes, daddy. It's like you have been praying for a, a resident permit. Yes, huh? yes, A resident permit. Yes, you even applied. Yes. You even applied. It's like they changed the stuff. They changed the stuff. Yes, daddy. That's when there's a delay. Yes, There's daddy. somebody who is like, who told you like to bring your passport. It's like your passport was like, like, like you took it back to the, to, to this to department. The, oh, my face. Huh? Yes. You yes, took daddy. back your passport. Yes, daddy. You are not with your passport. Yes. It's at home affairs. Yes, daddy. Prophesy. Flesh class prophecy. Did Isaac. Go deeper. Oh. The devil that said you not go anywhere. I receive it. The devil is embarrassed. I receive it. May the devil and his girlfriend ah. leave you by fire, I my friend. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. Shall I receive it? I receive it. Now, now, 
Say one. Say one. One. The Lord says, you see, I'm looking at fruits. There are three fruits here. How many children? I've got two kids, Daddy. But, but it's like it's like there was another one. Yes, the other huh? one passed away. Died, died. Yes, yes. Professor, the eyes of God. Come here, Mama. Come here. I need to break a curse. Can you hurry up? Can you hurry up? Can you hurry up? Can you hurry up? I need to break a curse of people not getting married, Jesus. married in your family. Even you, you are not married. Is it true? Yes. You are not married, but yes. I see children. Yes, two children. Huh? Two children. All these children is like they're from different fathers. Huh? The Lord says I must pray because I was seeing these children from different. Jesus. I don't know what is this. Jesus. I'm seeing these children from different fathers. No. But there is a problem here. Why yes. am I looking at these children? Because when I was Jesus. looking at, where is your sister? Where is your sister? At home, Limpopo. Huh? Limpopo. Do you know somebody? Come here. Hurry up. Hurry up. I don't want people to waste my time. Can you come here now? Why are you looking like uh, you are praying again? Jesus. What are you praying for? Jesus. What are you praying for? God has answered your prayer. You are still praying. Yes, I receive it. You want to pray while, while I'm prophesying to you? Just receive. I receive it. 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 You. Come here. You. So your passport. Eh? Yes, Daddy. Come here. I want to give a gift. Yes, Daddy. I eh? receive. I receive, Daddy. I receive. I want I want people. Yes. And that you know that behave very funny when it comes to prophecy. Yes. Hey, you. God says, I must give you a gift. I receive. And this gift, it will change your life. I receive it. A double portion, daddy. I am in Gweru. As I'm in Gweru, I travel in a, this place. What is this? Like, 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 Wange, Wange. And then as I'm in Wange, I'm seeing a place, another place. Like it's a capital city, like Bulawayo. Bulawayo. I see there your problem in Bulawayo. Because when I was looking at you, I see your mother exactly with the same problem, like you. Because your mother, she had the same problem where she was very sick. Even you, you are sick. Yes, Daddy. Now, wait, wait, wait. The Lord says you must turn seven times. As you turn seven times, whatever was done for seven years, for seven years, even you turn seven I receive. Whatever was done in seven years, it has been reversed. It has been reversed. It has been reversed. I receive it. Has been reversed. I receive it. It has been reversed. I receive it. I see miracles. I receive it. I see miracles. I receive it. Shut I receive. I receive. The Lord says, as you have turned seven times, whatever sickness that was in your blood, it has been reversed back to the sender. I receive. I receive. also. I receive. Receive also. I receive. You are healed now. I say you are healed, and your husband is healed from diabetes. You HIV, you are healed. Go and test. Go and test. Can you go celebrate Jesus? Bow. Whatever said you will not go anywhere. I receive. Resuka desire. Take whatever you desire. Jesus. Say that is my boss. Say that is my boss. Say so so. So I can feel it. I can feel all it. over my pocket. Yes, I'm a po all over my body. All over my body. All over my car. All over my car. Say I receive. I receive. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Sit down. Bow. Professor. Come here. How are you? Eh? I'm not fine, prophet. Eh? I'm not fine. Where is your child? Are you the one that I prophesied last week? Yes, prophet. Are you the one? Yes, what is prophet. this? This is what is happening at home right it's now. It's a charm. Perfect. Yes, perfect. Eh? You found yes. a charm. Yes, perfect. Eh? No, Papa. It's what? A... It's what they're doing. It's what they're doing just now. Someone the ancestor now. worship. 
they are doing ancestor worship. Yes. It is to kill you. Oh God. Huh? Huh? Oh God. Do something, Papa. As I'm looking at this Do picture, something. as I'm looking at this picture, I am in East Eastern Cape. Yes. Eastern prophet. Cape. True. That's where they are doing True, it. Prophet. Professor, spiritual sharpshooter, power. I you come here. I see a truck. A truck that you bought. Huh? Huh? I saw you that you bought a truck. Yes, that's huh? true, Papa. I huh? bought a truck. I, I saw you. Truck. You bought a truck. Yes, Papa. Huh? That's like true. Is it a Suzu or what? It's a Hande. Huh? Hande. It's a Hande. It's a Hande. But it's yes. white in color. It's white in color. White in color. Yes, Papa. That's true. Professor. It's, it's white in color, but it's not here. It's not around here. That's true, It's Baba. not around. It's in KZ10. No, it's in Pretoria, Baba. No, I'm seeing KZ10 because you are coming from KZ10. Go deeper, Go deeper, Baba. Where, where, are deeper, Baba. where are you coming from? I'm coming from Limpopo Original. No, 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 not where. You come. Where do you work? I'm working in Pretoria. Uh, Who is in KZ10? Go deeper, Baba. Come here. Let me remind you. Wait. 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 I'm going to remind you. I'm a doctor of prophecy. Yes! You! You! Why am I seeing this track? Because as I was looking at you, I saw some student. I saw some student. Yes. And I'm in a class where you are like a teacher. You are teaching like driving. Driving. Yes, yes. Driving. I, I've got driving academy, Papa. I'm riding the... Professor, Papa! We are not guessing this, eh? Ah. We are speaking with power. Are you listening what I'm trying to say here? Sit down. That's where, that's where I saw you from. But the Spirit of the Lord he showed me something. He showed me something. Because when I was looking at this white truck, I was seeing it in KZT. I was seeing this truck, the robbers coming to rob it. And the Lord, they said, pray for protection for this truck. I saw it prophetically in KZT. Yet it is in Pretoria right now. Yes, Papa. The Lord, he says, Kojia Tizayi Kalahat. There is a Lojena. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive it. La Shede Hesia. I receive. Shikia Protea. I receive it. Shikia Shikia. I receive. Shikia Shikia. I receive it. Shikia Shikia. I receive. I hear the Lord saying, What? Who was born in April? April. April. Where's your wife? Eh? Do you have a child? Eh? No. Yeah, Do you have a child? Eh? A child. Yes, he's having a child. He me has a, has a yes, child. I don't have. But you, you are, not, you are not having any child together. Yes, yes, eh? yes. Eh? One, two, three, four years. Four years. Four years. You're supposed to have a child last year. In 2000, it's 2016. You're supposed to have a child. There was a time where you saw yourself, you were like pregnant. Eh? Yes, yes. Pregnant. Yes, you yes, lost I the mean, child. You had like a miscarriage. Yes, huh? previously. A miscarriage. Previously. But the Lord says, after you leave this place, okay, you I are going to pray for you. You are going to anoint your wife with twins. I receive. I receive, Papa. I receive. Receive the anointing. I receive. 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 Jehovah Agado. I receive. Jehovah Juva. I receive. Jehovah Tandukeno, Jehovah Jump Protocol, the one who has the ability to jump protocol, just to bless you. He has some protocol. Promotion is coming. Deliverance is coming. Hey! Jesus. 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 Say power. Mozozo. Mozozo. Say prophetic papa. Prophetic baba. Nifuna prophecy. Nifuna prophecy. Say nifuna prophecy. You sir, come here, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. So what you are going to do, I'm going to give you an assignment to anoint your wife. Power. Professor. Give him the microphone. You will anoint your wife after 16 days, the shape will change. I receive, Baba. I receive. I receive. Have you heard? I receive, Baba. But this track, this track, you must be very careful. I see robbers coming at your house. Do you know something to do with the 
with with three eight. Three eight. Three eight. Go deeper, Baba. Go three deeper. Eight. Three eight. Go deeper, Baba. Do you have anyone who is 38 years in your family? Do you have anyone in your family who is 38 years? If you don't know, tell me. I will tell you. I'm the one who sing it. Go deeper, Baba. I can't remember, Baba. Uh -huh. If you can't remember, tell me to remind you. Remind me, Baba. Power. Prophesy. You don't argue with a prophetic Papa. Yes. Prophetic Papa is able to download. He's able to count. I receive. You see, the prophetic. I receive. Prophesy. I receive. Prophets have the ability to count the seeds inside the fruit yes. without opening it. Yes. Wow. Professor. So you hear, there is a big problem here. Because when I was looking at you in the realms of the spirit, I saw a demon, a demon that makes you to wake and another man to come and enjoy the, your wakes. Because it's like you are losing a lot of things. That's true, Even Baba. money, That's you lose a lot of things. That's true, Baba. Huh? That's true. Sometimes you don't know where your money is spent. That's true, Baba. Even last, last week, you receive a salary, like as, as two weeks ago. There was a salary. You even don't know how you spent it. That's true, huh? Papa. That's true. Now, let me tell you. There That's was a true. program that you had with your wife. It's like you wanted to buy a house. That's true. That's true, eh? Papa. It's what happened with the issue of the house? True. No, we've been looking for a house. Eh? We've been looking for a house. Now, now let me tell you something. Good, Papa. Now, I'm giving you two assignments. Can I give you? Yes, One, Papa. One, impregnate your wife. No prayer involved. I'll do it, Papa. I'll do it, Papa. Even you... You can go and do that. That's your assignment. Yes, Papa. Uh, do you think these things we pray? Okay, let me show you by scripture. The Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says in the book of uh, uh, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 27, the Bible says, and then he blessed them. And he said, go ye and multiply. Amen. So you are blessed to multiply. There is a mechanism inside you that when you meet a woman, automatically she must be pregnant. So we don't pray for children. We only fulfill the assignment. Which is the biological assignment. Now, the Lord is going to bless you. You are a very prosperous young man. I, you see, have, Baba. I, see, you having, I, I see you having your own school. Your yes, own Baba. school. Yes, Baba. I've got huh? academy. I've got driving as academy. I'm running a school, Baba. Come here. This track, it will not be stolen. I receive, Baba. You know the reason, the reason why it will not be stolen? It's because the Lord has remembered your sacrifice on the altar. I receive, There Baba. was a sacrifice that you laid on the altar. That's and true. the Lord, he says, he has remembered your sacrifice has become a memorial before the throne of God. Take. Take. Receive. Take, take, take. Take, take, take. Take, take, take. Say, I receive. 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 I receive. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Stand up, you. Stand up. You young man, stand up. The Lord is going to use you. I receive. I receive. Come, 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 come. I see you on BBC. I receive. I receive. You. I receive. I see this young man. Amen. I receive. On BBC. I receive. Even if you don't clap hands, you are jealous. Ah. They will be like, they will be like, they will be like, they will be like a competition. A competition. I see, I see. Where I saw you, you are going to be there. You are going to be there. And you'll be the youngest. You'll be the youngest artist like a drawing, 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 drawing. What do you do? I do art. 
prophesy. Did oh. Isaac, the oh. super redeemed, divine fucker man, Torius. Oh. What kind of a prophesy. man is this? Oh. Who has the ability to see oh. the way God sees it? Oh. I see you as a millionaire. I, I, receive I see you as a millionaire. I, I receive. I see your destiny cancelled. I, I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. There'll be like a, there'll be like a competition, and you'll be like receive, one of Baba. the youngest, youngest artists. And in there, I see you winning an award. I receive, Baba. Ah, oh, I receive. It. Prophesy. Yo, go there. When go there, can you? Why are you walking so majestically? Look at her. What would be the problem now? Can you go there? Hey, Power. You you know you know there are some certain people they just get so soconized. You can't do anything like should I ban Sibanda 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 Who is Sibanda? Sibanda 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 Ah Sibanda Yes Sibanda Sibanda come here Are you shocked? I'm not dressed. Are you shocked? No, I'm not. Huh? No. Are you shocked? I'm, yes. Eh? Yes. If you are not shocked, then what are you doing? I'm shocked, prophet. Because prophecy itself, it must shock you. Sibanda, you have a problem. Yes. Come here. <laughs> Jesus. Have your baby. Have your baby. You shall have your baby. The same way my anointing has touched your womb. I receive. You have taken in. I receive. In Jesus' name. I receive. I receive. Bring my mantle. Bring it here. The sweat of the prophet is the anointing. Amen. I know you are not clapping hands because I'm your uncle. Pow! I receive. Thank you, Jesus. Even Jesus. Do you know Jesus? <laughs> Jesus was a man of... He was a man of parables. The Bible said one day the Pharisees, they came to him. And Jesus said, Why are you following me, you sons of snakes? Isn't it not an insult? Eh? Jesus was very rough. Samantha. Go there. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm, I'm, I know. Power. <laughs> Professor. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Good news for you. I receive. This week we are back on DDTV. Yeah. Power. Yo, stand up. I am in Malawi. As I'm in Malawi, I'm in Zambia. As I'm in Zambia, I see a demon. I don't know what is this. I see a demon. Move. Where is your husband? My husband passed away. Eh? He passed away. He died. Yes. This demon killed your husband with sickness. It killed your husband with sickness. But again, I am seeing an accident. Huh? I'm seeing an accident. And this accident is about to take your firstborn. Your firstborn. Where is your firstborn? Rachel, she's in Cape Town. Eh? Rachel, Cape Town. In Cape Town? Yes. But I, when I was looking at her, I was looking at your, is it your daughter or what? My daughter. Your daughter. I must pray for protection. 
The same spirit that killed your husband is the same spirit that is demanding for her spirit. Because you, you are having problem of di- di- like BP. BP. Yes. You don't sleep in the night. Yes. There is a demon from your family in Zimbabwe. It's true. Have it's you true. heard me? Yes, I'm from Zimbabwe. And that demon makes people to be divorced and for the husband to die, to die uh, at a young age, it's at true. a tender age. It's true. Even there's one of your sister also. The husband died, like at your mother's side. Yes, because in yes, your mother's yes, side, there's about three true, people. True. Huh? Three free. people, three people. Free. Huh? Yes, yes, from my mother's side. Professor. From my mother, it's me. That, do you know Maria? Do you know Maria? I know. Yeah. Who is Maria? It's my grandmother. Eh? It's my grandmother from my mother's Can side. Can I tell you that your grandmother, she was a winchy? I... Professor, just going don't, don't got me wrong. I did not say witchy. I say winchy. There's a difference between <laughs> witchy and the winchy. <laughs> we are suffering in our family. A witchy bewinches. Have you heard? Not bewitches, bewinche. Bewinches. Now, you. <laughs> Maria, she's your grandmama. Yes, yes. Your grandmama, years ago, went to the winch doctor. And the winch doctor, they gave her, they gave her like, a, like a, a concoction. A concoction. And from that moment, your mother, she was born. And I see a spirit. That kills husbands. That's the reason there's a power that does not allow you to settle in marriage. You have been struggling. Even you have been trying to enter into another relationship. But it has been failing. Yes, it can. Huh? There was another guy who was like interested in you. Wait, 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 wait. Do you have a guy? Yes. Eh? Yes. Eh? Yes. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Where is this guy? He's in any gems. But this guy is younger than you. <laughs> eh? Professor. Okay. Do you want this guy to marry you? Yes, Papa. Eh? Yes, Papa. <laughs> Professor. So you want to get married? You want to get married? Yes, Papa. Cosmo City. House number 89 Where is this guy? Where is he? Now I don't know where he is. Eh? Now I don't know where he is. We just separated now we didn't talk to each other. We just separated. So you are not together with I, this guy? Yeah, we are not together. I've got another one whom I'm staying with. Ewele! Ewele! Double portion. Some of you, when I look at you like this, you are full bouquet. This one that huh? Mama, le, mama, you have a problem. Come here. Mama, you have a problem. You have a big problem. You know your problem. Eh? Eh? I don't know, Prophet. Eh? I don't know. You give them pap. Too much. Before there's an authorization. So they eat, they finish all the pap. Mama, mama, let, let me put it like this. You are too weak emotionally. You are very weak. Papa, papa, I'm, I'm, I don't know what I can tell you because my problems are a lot. Even my mother is sick now. I'm not sleeping. Ah. I, I, I've got a lot of problems. 
Let's first sort out this problem of men. Eh? Yes. Uh -huh. Don't bring another one so that we can cover. Let's handle one matter after another one. Now, you have a problem, Mama. I don't know whether you know somebody like he, like Tabo. I don't know. Huh? I don't know. I don't know what is this. Wait. This second guy who left you, where did he go? He was coming from Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. The yes. second one is coming from where? He's for here in South eh? Africa. In South Africa. Now, then the Bible said then Jesus met a woman. And the Bible said, Jesus said, you women, you have had five men. How many men have you had? How many men have you had? Count. I've just used the parable of Jesus to find out your life. Uh -huh. How many? How many men have you had? Prophet, it's too difficult to mention. You see, it is dangerous for a mama like this to begin to, to go after. You know, there are some certain women who are very odd. You find them putting on mosquito nets. They are walking very funny. I had a situation where a young man was complaining. A young man, a, a, a young woman was complaining. He said, old ladies, nowadays, the old ladies of nowadays, they are dangerous. They are boyfriend snatchers. <laughs> now, I see five men. Now, your problem, your problem is this demon. And the Lord says, I must pray for you for healing. Yeah, okay. Deliver me, prophet. For deliver healing. Me. Okay. Yes. Your, your mother should be healed. But yes. the biggest problem, you must amend your words. Look, you are having children now. Eh? You have children, your children are, are very big. You know, some certain, some certain things, you can't do them. Huh? Don't do what Jesus cannot do. Some of you are doing what Jesus cannot do. So you, you are grown up, you need to, 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 to show by example. Huh? Our children, they are learning from us. Huh? There's no way you are a mother, you are, you are 40 years, you are putting on a mosquito net. And you are walking so majestically in your house. What are you telling them? There are, some, there are some certain ladies. They can't even bend. Even when giving offering like this, you will see. They, 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 they will come like, they will be like. It's like they went to a welder and the welder, you know. Because what they are putting on is dangerous. That's the reason you see I don't put some powerful women in front. Because I know. I know. Even me, I'll fail to preach. I'll try to go this side and go to say, no, 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 no. Not that side. So, you know, you, 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 you are grown up. You are grown up, mama. You are grown I need to advise you. Okay, I need to advise you. Come out! Live In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bring her here. Bring her here. Look at me. Bring her here. Hey, when Asha, bring her here. Don't hold the deliverance of, her, of this woman. Bring her here. Leave her. Jesus. Bring her here. Asha, Asha, sit down. You, you, come here. Hold the demon. Can you sit down? You are not in the spirit. I must protect you. Come on! Jesus! Mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. She's free. Pow! 
Now, stand up, you ushers. Usher now. You must be prophetic when you're handling a prophet. <gasps> Simanda, come here. Simanda, do you know a policeman? No. Do you know a policeman? No. What is, where is your passport? I don't have a passport. Where is your passport? I lost it. Eh? I lost it. Where? Uh, somewhere's back. Ago. Eh? 20... Can you go and take your passport? Make another one. Have you heard me? Yes. Prophet. Have you heard me? Yes, prophet. There is a major breakthrough. And yes. an open door I receive it. that will require your passport. I receive it. Have you heard me? Yes, I receive it. You are a very good man, but let me pray for your wife. Where is your wife? I'm not yet married. Where is your wife? I'm not yet married, prophet. Why? Why? Why is he not married? I'm asking also. There are some of you, you are 50 years. And you are 50 years, that's when you are thinking of having a child, a baby. What were you doing all this time? You must go and marry. Okay? Yes, prof. Yes, prof. You must go and marry. You must settle. Yes, prof. Okay? Yes, prof. Uh, because when you reach 50 years, it will be so hard for you to settle. Yes, prof. Okay? Yes, prof. Go and take another passport. The Lord will lift you. Yes, prof. Come here. Delay is gone. Go. Go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Go. It is done. You, they are doing charm in Eastern Cape. Okay, huh? True prophet. You are covered. Yeah, someone, I'm someone. I'm Shh. Someone. Lift up your hands. Say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Speak to me. Speak to me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Where's your mother? My mother passed on, Patrick. Eh? Passed up on. Where's your grandmother? Also here, Patrick. Passed on. She died. Who is on the wheelchair? My cousin. Eh? My cousin. My cousin. On the wheelchair. Yes. Prophesy. When you call, you'll find Richard is working. Amen. I receive. I receive, prophet. I receive. Okay. I receive it. Because you find what? Hair working. She'll be working. I receive. But there's an operation on the back of this woman that must under she must undergo. Uh, she, I see an operation. Yes, prophet. Okay. Yes. But where the doctors will call for her, they would want to operate her. To operate her, let her not be afraid. Okay. Okay. I see deliverance for her. Amen. Go. Amen. It is done. Amen. Pow. You. Turn around two times. There. It is done. Yes. I see you on I BBC. Receive. I receive. The Lord will surprise you and give you wisdom. I receive. In Jesus' name. I receive. Go. It is done. Pow! How did these people come here? Sivandas. Eh? Sivandas. You are Sivanda. You? Yes. Eh? Sivanda. You? Sivanda. Sivanda. You? Sivanda. Zimbabwe. 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 Yeah, I'm seeing all of them Zimbabwe. Even, are you from Zimbabwe? That man again. Where is he? You are from Zimbabwe, so. <laughs> you are from what? Zimbabwe. Pow! Eh, eh. Zimbanda. Yes, from Zimbabwe. Eh? Yes. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is trading. Uh huh? Huh? Zimbanda. Zimbanda from where? Zimbabwe. Pow! Professor! Okay. <laughs> Hold hands. Shh. Lift up your hands. You musicians. You musicians, you must be prophetic. You never create an environment. You see, you create an environment. You create an environment. Create an environment. You create an environment. Father, I pray for these people. You are healed. You are healed. I receive. Okay. I receive. Can you do me a favor? Go there and test. Go. Power. 
your finances, God has opened them for you. I receive. You are healed. I receive, man Go of test. God. I receive. Go on, test. Dr. Didi has it. You have stopped smoking. You have stopped smoking. I receive, Papa. I pray for grace. Jesus' name. You. Shh. You. Yes, sir. Where is your mother? In Zimbabwe. Huh? In Zimbabwe. Pray for her protection now. Yes, okay? Baba, I receive, Baba. For her protection. Yes, Baba. I hear a bad news yes, coming to you. Yes, but I cancel it. Yes, Baba. I speak protection. I receive, Baba. Over the life of your mother. I receive, Baba. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Pray for protection for your family. Something's moving, something's changing. Sees glory, feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving, something's changing. Sees glory, feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving, something's changing. Sees glory, feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving. Rise up on our face. Something's changing. See the glory feels like something's moving. Lift up your hands. I gave you an instruction last 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 Thursday. Last Thursday. And I continue seeing the same things. Tonight, also do the same thing. Amen. Take the oil. Take the oil. Anoint yourself. And dip your finger in the oil and put it on your tongue. I experienced a lot of things last night when I was sleeping. The Lord showed me a lot of things, a lot of attacks. And I want us to pray. I want us to agree in prayer for your protection. Have you heard me? Lift up your hands. I want, look, I want you to pray for your own protection. Your own protection. Your own protection. Lift up your hands. Pray for your own protection. Pray. Something's changing. See the glory. Feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving. Something's changing. See the glory. Feels like something's moving. Something's changing. See the glory. Something's moving. Something's changing. Something's moving, something's changing, she's glorious. Something's moving, something's changing, she's glorious. Sons of many waters, heaven on earth, lightning and thunder, miracles and water. Sons of many waters, heaven and say lightning and thunder, miracles and water. Sons of many waters. All those that are watching us on Facebook, on uh, YouTube, I have good news for you. This week, I want you to pray along with me. And uh, I want you to be in fasting on Thursday. Amen. Be on fasting. And uh, as you come here, we're going to break with communion. Amen. It's going to be a communion service. And uh, the prayer point. I want you to pray for your protection. Amen. Your protection. Amen. The protection of your children, your career, your ministry, your life. Amen. And on top of that, I wanted to include DDTV Africa. 
Amen. Because we're going to be launching this week. We need your prayers. While I'll be praying for you, pray also for DDTV Africa. Amen. We are going to agree in prayer. Amen. And I'm telling you, as you come on Sunday, God is going to do amazing stuff. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Shalom. Put our two hands for Jesus. Take your seats. Let me have all those who are having tithe. Rush with your tithe. Rush with your tithe. Rush with your tithe. Don't go anywhere.